Honey, do you have your things? Do you have pumpkin your stuffed goat? Mom, please. I'm 18 years old, and now I'm going off to college. Of course I brought pumpkin. Jesus Christ, Deborah, we've been unpacking for three hours. He's gonna be fine. I know, Gerald. It's just, it's, our baby is leaving us. <sighs> there, there, Mom. I'll be home in a couple weeks for fall break. And in the meantime, I can call you anytime I want. He's gonna be fine, Deborah. Remember to call us whenever you need. I'll pick you up whenever okay, you want to come home. Remember, Just remember to brush your teeth. I'll get you a case of beer later when I come back. Thanks, well, this is it. I'm on my own now. I'm hours away from home. I don't know where anything on this campus is. I have no idea where the cafeteria is. Orientation tour didn't help at all. I don't know how I'm gonna survive freshman year. Did somebody Jesus! die? Here. Why, the powers of Satan, of course, you silly willy. Anyway, my name's Tour Guide, or as you can call me, TG. <laughs> your, your name is Tour Guide? <laughs> oh, my sweet, silly, stupid freshman child. You have a lot to learn, but luckily, that's what I'm here for. This is where you sleep. This is where you eat. This is where you go to learn. And this is where you go when you get full of germs. Now, onto the real tips. Who cares about where things are? Uh, I do, sir. Silence, mortal! Now, let's get onto some real tips to make your first year your best year. Because trust me, it's all downhill from here. It's important to have a good relationship with your roommate. Likely, they're either going to be your first best friend here, or, um, like in my case, your complete mortal enemy. So say hi! Hey, Rumi. Alright, anyway, you guys are best friends already. Super great, super great. So, to be a good roommate, you need to follow the four-step process, which I will teach you right now. Step one, cleanliness. Show your roommate that you're confident in their ability to keep the room clean. This will build their experience, so when they move into a place of their own, they'll know how to keep the room clean. Step two, olfactory. Make sure your room has a very well-lived-in smell, so your roommate will get used to it and will have a very unique and distinct smell. Besides, the breeze is bad for the environment anyway. Step three, courtesy. Make sure to drown out the noise of your neighbors by making as much noise as you can. Dorms are noisy, so it's better you than them for your roommate, right? And then finally, step four, kerosene. Just, just, just don't. Don't bring kerosene into the dorms. The cock method? It works every time. I've only had five roommates file restraining orders. These tips of yours do not sound like the best. Yeah, I know, it gets really cold in the winter, and it's really tempting to bring a kerosene heater into here, but trust me, it smells awful and it's very dangerous. No, I'm talking about- Anyway, that. anyway, on to more important matters. So, believe it or not, the Freshman 15 is a very real experience. Believe me, I would know. So to combat that, I took you to... The... gym? 
exercise is an important factor in staying healthy and keeping your stress low. Are we gonna go in there? Oh, Jesus Christ, in a purple handbasket, no. The gym is a terrifying place. Do you think that I would survive in there with these guns? I mean, I would, but still. I just need people to think I look healthy, so I'm gonna just take a couple selfies for social media, and we're gonna call it a day. So, how are we gonna exercise that? I'll show you. All right, let's start with some push-ups, the most basic yet efficient way of exercising. Come with me now. All right, with me now. One. Okay. Two. Are you okay? Yeah. I got this. Three. Oh my god! No! Should I call an ambulance? <sighs> oh, there. Now we exercise. Where we should be good now for the next three months. This is great and all. I have a bunch of classes to study for, and I'm just here to get a degree. Well, what an eager beaver. All right, Mr. Books and Brainiac. I'll teach you how to survive freshman year classes. Who do you keep looking at? It's really not that hard to excel in college. All you have to do is show up every day to class, pass all the exams, study meticulously, take meticulous notes, ask your professor lots of questions, do all the assignments, and of course study at least two hours every single night per class. That's a lot of things to remember and it doesn't sound that simple. I have classes five times a week at least and I'm supposed to do extracurriculars on top of that and I'm just struggling to take care of myself. Yeah, there's no realistic way that you can actually be expected to do that, but professors are going to want you to do it anyway. So, most people recommend that you show up to class like 10 minutes early, but I honestly never really saw the harm in just showing up to class right when it starts. Oh, hey, Prof. What do we have planned for our class session today? Well, uh, class has been over for the past, uh, 35 minutes, and, uh, so, you know, considering you never show up and you haven't been here the past three weeks, uh, I'm kicking you out of the course. And uh, don't talk to me ever again, or else we're going to have to get campus police involved. Again? Hey, buddy. Jesus, man. What you working on? One, how long have you been in here? And two, how long have you been in that closet? Why are you freshmen always so questioning? Just accept how we do things here, bro. Now what's the matter? You seem tense. We're the first week for the little freshman talk. There's so many books and access codes. I have so many assignments and the semester has just began. Yeah, it only gets harder from here, kiddo. But you know what you need? You need to blow off some steam. Going through Tattoo two power? I saw a floor on the main road. No, silly, but nice reference. No, you need to go to your first college party. I don't know, TG. I'm not really much of a party guy. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. I'll teach you how to party. Come on. Come on, you know the line. We also know how to party like only a rock star can.
go. Now we look like we're all set to show the school how, oh, wait a minute. I, I just realized I don't even know your name. Yeah, you really don't even really know me, man. My name is... So how do I even find a party? I wasn't invited to one, and I don't know anybody here, man. It's quite simple, really. Just walk up to the first drunk person you see and ask them. Or just find the closest herd of white sorority girls or frat guys, and you'll find your way to the local watering hole in no time at all. Hey, a drunk. Why, hello there, my good sir. Where, in fact, can we find the locale of tonight's festivities? Wow, <laughs> you sound like a nerd, bro. Hey, my dude! Long time no see! The, the, the party tonight is green, my man! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wow, that was not very helpful at all. What? You didn't even wear anything. Your advice was wrong! Oh. My sweet, silly, STUPID little freshman friend. I know exactly where we're going. All he said was green! We're going to the swamp. Why do they call it the swamp? Oh my god, it's green! This is actually some great advice for tea. Oh well, let's get lit. Fuck, you be fucking awesome, man! Praise the Lord! Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> oh, man. What happened last night? Rough night. Oh, Jesus! What happened last night? Well... You drank half of Mike's hard, then passed out somewhere in the street after crying that you couldn't find pumpkin? Oh, uh, alright. Thanks for ta taking me back to my room, I think. No problem. You gotta take it slow in college, my buddy. It's hard, it's scary, but it's also gonna be one of the best times of your life. You're gonna meet loads of unforgettable people make some of the best memories of your life, and get an education that will last you a lifetime. I know you can do it. Wow. Thanks, TG. That was actually some pretty good advice, and thanks for... Oh, by the way, you also have a $200 fine, because you got an underage, and you have to go to AA meetings now, so have fun with that. There's nothing funny about underage drinking. Wait to chug, or... Wait to chug or be a slug? Is that really my line? Who are you talking Wait to be a slug? What I'm trying to say is don't drink, kids. Wait till you're old enough. It's illegal and you're gonna get in trouble. Jesus Christ, who wrote this? Yeah!